Hey guys, so this is going to be my final video on um, the Ranger School knots. I want to talk the overview of the knot test. So it'll take place in the first week of Mountains Face in Dahlonega. It's honestly pretty simple. Um, we didn't lose anybody in my class for the knots test, and I don't think many classes lose people for the knots test. The so knots are very simple. Um, they teach you how to tie them. So even if you get to school and you haven't learned how to tie all the knots, they're going to teach you there. Um, they spend a couple days, you work on it, you know, you can go back to the barracks, you can work on it at night. So very few people fail ranger school or recycle ranger school because of the knots test. Um, but so, so don't stress over it. Um, but I know everybody, if you're like me, you stressed over it because it's just one more thing that could get you recycled and nobody likes recycling. So um, we'll talk it over. So once you get to Dahlonega, you'll see it, you'll be in your barracks and then down um, low is like all where all techniques week takes place. It's um, there's towers down there and like some training area for you to, to start to implement some of this stuff and learn the three rope bridge and stuff like that. Um, but it's down, like down the hill from your barracks. Um, so you'll walk down there and then there's like these covered gazebo things. Um, they're rope corrals. So it's essentially just a big square and they've got rope wrapped all the way around. Um, and it's pretty thick rope. So that's called a rope corral, right? And that's where you'll be tying most of your knots to or around. You're, you're not gonna tie many to yourself uh, with the exception obviously being the rappel seat. Um, but you'll walk down there um, and then the RI will be standing in the middle and he'll say the knot and say how much time. Um, and I'll cover all that here in a second, but he'll say the knot, he'll say the time standard, he'll get ready with a stopwatch and he'll say, okay, like for example, say bowling, you have 60 seconds, get ready, begin. And then you pick up your rope, you tie your bowling, once you've got it tied, you have a full 60 seconds, so you can take all 60 seconds. And honestly, once you practice the bowling, you could probably tie the bowling five times in 60 seconds. Like it's it's a pretty fast knot once you get the hang of it. So you tie your bowling, you inspect it, you make sure everything looks great, and then you lay it over the rope. Um, so the rope will be sitting here, you like lay it over it. Um, and once you do that, it's like tells the RI, hey, I'm good to go. He'll wait the 60 seconds. 60 seconds has elapsed, he'll say, okay, everybody, if you're set your ropes down um, and then he'll walk around and he'll inspect everybody's bowling. And if it's right, good to go. You're moving on. If it's wrong, I can't remember if you retest on the spot. I don't think so. I think they pull you to the side and then you get retrained. We did have a couple of guys get retrained for a few of the knots and then retested and they tested fine. So no issues there. And then you move on. Um, he sets the next knot, you tie it. He inspects, that's it. Um, just that simple, it goes really quick. Um, so we'll talk through the knots. So again, you have the bowling, you have 60 seconds to tie that knot. So one minute for the bowling. Then you have a clove hitch, which is a critical knot. Um, so maybe I should cover that in here a quick second. So with the critical knots, like you can't mess them up. Um, I think the other one, you're allowed to miss one or two. You don't quote me on it. It's, um, it's been a minute. So um, I think you can not test, like you can screw one knot up as long as it's not critical. You have to get all the critical knots. So the critical knots are the clove hitch, the rerouted figure eight, and the munter hitch. Those three are critical. You cannot mess them up. You have to get them. You know, the rest of them, I think you get one. I think you can mix, mess one up. Um, but anyhow, so you got the bowling, one minute for that. Clove hitch, which is critical, one minute for that. And you've got the double figure eight, one minute for that. You have the rerouted figure eight, one minute for that. The munter hitch, one minute for that. And then you got your two minute knot. So you have your prusik, which is a two minute knot and your hip propel seat, also a two minute knot. Um, 
It's very simple. Like I said, I, I wouldn't stress too much. They teach you all the knots when you get there. E, but if, if you want to leg up and learn them before you go, it's just one less thing you have to worry about. Um, you can watch my old videos there. I did all the knots in previous videos, so you can watch those um, to start practicing. Uh, other than that, um, it's the knots test. It's pretty simple. It sends very few people home, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Thanks for watching. If you have anything else you guys want to see, um, just go ahead and leave a comment on one of my videos and I'll do my best to get to it. Um, the whole purpose of me starting this page is to try to help people um, ease the tension a little bit before they go to ranger school. So if there's something you want to know about, you got a question you're just dying to ask, uh, just leave a comment. I'll make a video and I will um, try to answer your questions the best of my ability. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.